now let's take a look at some of the images and, and see what makes the, these images work as a, as a good composition. So this, this, this and this, these are my artwork and the rest of the images are, are from movies, movie stills. So the composition is, is used in every single visual art form. So if we take a look at the first image, we see that the, the image is divided unequally, meaning that the focal area lies here. and as soon as we see this image we know that we have to look here and why is that because we have this 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 the repetition of repetition and arrangement of elements that is creating a visual guide for us to look here so this this helicopter may not be the most interesting helicopter to see but what is happening here the storytelling element is the focus focus of this artwork so everything everything in the in the image is guiding our eye to look at this area so if we see this this thing this is guiding us here this thing is taking us here and then we see repetition of these men going towards this, this direction. They are creating a movement, sense of movement. And also the mountains, they are tilted towards here. And everything, uh, everything is coming together and telling us to look here. So this artwork is composed in a way that is creating a compelling statement if we look at this image again the use of visual guides is is really heavily used we see that these rails the train and these structures are taking us here in this area and most importantly this these highly saturated lights are, are are telling us to look here and the in and in composition the first thing that we see is contrast contrast of values contrast of color and contrast of saturation So contrast is the, is the first thing that we see. Now let's take a look at this image. What is happening is that the clouds, the movement of the whole cloud, the this this rock formation is tilted towards this direction and is pointing towards this direction. And our comp and our composition is saying to us that this area is important and look at here so every time anyone sees this image he or she will look directly for he will he or she will first look at this area and then he he will or she will go to another, any other place So in, in this image, this image, this image, and in this image, we see that the, the elements, different elements are pointing us towards the focal area, right? So the focal area is here, and these lines are create, telling us to look here. These lines are telling us to look here. But What about this? 
we don't see any visual guides, visual lines that we are being told to look at a certain point, to look at a certain area of the image. But the composition in this image is all about the contrast. And everyone who sees this image will see here, right here. So this image is really really powerful because everything else is does not have any detail does not is not sharp but this area this is a powerful statement look at here this is the image from Hobbit and again as I said the first our first read is contrast so this is the brightest area again the dark dark areas first we see here and then our eye goes towards here even though this image has so many visual noise but because of the careful use of composition this image is not ruined this image is utilized properly through the composition in this image because the, this area is extreme bright again the dark areas the overall lighting scenario here is dark in this image but because this is the most brightest part and and that's why we are looking here also because we have a human figure and our brain likes to see humans everywhere like for example we see different animals animal forms in in clouds human form in clouds we as a human we like to see human beings in everything so our brain tells us to look here and also notice that there is a contrast contrast in terms of hard surface these are hard surface elements right these structures but this human being is organic so there is a contrast between inorganic and organic and if we divide the image in half we see that our focal area is lies in the right side of the image try to avoid the centralized composition the centralized composition that we for example we see the beginners put things in extreme center dead center this is not this is not a good this is not a good choice because a very few compositions they require they require centralized composition all right in this image this is all about contrast so we see right here so after seeing this these images we now understand that even though our values are correct our colors are are fine our color relationships are fine but if our composition is not uh, correct then this artwork of ours is not gonna be very effective 